Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're doing very well. Today we're going to be taking a look at the top submissions for this month's build battles. So this month the theme was laboratory and I'm going to show you the top four for build quality, so which ones we thought were built the best, and the top four for creativity, so which four we thought were the most creative. So let's get into it. Okay, and the first one in the build quality category is by Dino de Coconut. So as you can see, this is a laboratory. If we head inside, we have a really nice little scene that's built really well. I really like the feel of this build. It's really cozy. It's got giant windows, books on the table, magnifying glass, a quill. Overall, a really cool build that makes you feel like you're inside some kind of scientific room. There's lots of there's lots of little bottles of liquids, and so they're clearly testing something. But really, really cool. I really like this build, so well done, Dino. The second build is by someone you might recognize, Bittern, and they have built this laboratory style, but it's a little bit different to the last one. And that's something I really love about these build battles is that every build is completely different. This one's a little bit larger in scale. They've got big vats of some kind of liquid all around the room, feeding into tubes and making this pulsating energy light in the middle. The attention to detail with all the wires and the tubing, it feels very futuristic. That's what I would say with this one. It feels sci-fi, futuristic. Overall, it's really well built. Congrats, Bitten, and let's move on to the next one. Okay, and this next one is by XYZ Creeper and Rotless, and they've built this really cool laboratory inside nature. When you look out the windows here, all you can see is plants. It's, it's just full of vegetation, and it looks like they're testing on plants and vegetation as well, because inside we've got vats of green liquid, and behind glass is more plants and flowers and even a hidden Mario there. And yeah, this one's got a really cool atmosphere to it. You can look all around you and everywhere you look, you'll see plants. It makes you feel like you're inside some kind of rainforest. At least that's what it gives to me. Even the skylight has plants on it, which is super awesome. This one does a really good job of making you feel like you're actually inside nature. So well done, XYZ Creeper and Rotless. It's a really cool build. Okay, and this final one in the build quality category is built by Encrypted Inferno. And they have built a laboratory that is most definitely abandoned. You head into this rocky area where you find a door. You head into the door and inside this little room is an abandoned laboratory. It's got all of its pipes, tubes, what looks to be like a generator or something going on, but it's most definitely not been used in a really, really long time. There's cracks in the wall with the light coming through. That's a really nice use of the decals. And you can tell that this place has been abandoned for a really long time. There's lots of wood scattered on the floor, books thrown around. It's quite a small build, but it is built really, really well. It makes you feel like you're trapped inside this abandoned laboratory. It's really, really cool. And there we go. That is the fourth build in the build quality by Encrypted Inferno. Next, we're going to be taking a look at the creative builds. So these builds were the ones that I thought were the most creative. So the last ones were built really well, which was awesome. These ones coming up are also built pretty well, but mainly I've put them in here because I think they had a really creative twist. A lot of them have cool storylines or cool mechanics that are pretty unique. Take a look. Okay, and this next one is by Ken the Penny. I really like this one because it has quite a cool story. Basically, you walk inside this laboratory here, and inside this laboratory, they are testing a new artificial intelligence. I mean, not only are they testing the artificial intelligence called the Overlord, but they're also testing a bunch of other stuff inside this room, and they're pretty funny. So I reckon if you guys have a look at this, I'll be definitely take a look at all of these scenarios. There's some pretty funny ones in there. Anyway, you find this key card and you head into this room with this guy called Billy and also the Overlord, the supercomputer artificial intelligence. Essentially, you stand there, the computer starts getting annoyed that you just think of it as a computer. It kills Billy, which is so sad. Rest in peace, Billy. And so to shut off the computer, you actually have to find these three buttons, which are at the end of these obstacles. So it's sort of like an obstacle course as well, which is awesome. And then eventually you shut down the computer and you save the laboratory and you save the world from this evil AI, which is super cool. I really like this concept, really creative. So well done, Ken. Okay, and this second creative build is by Melon Shark Bio and Blasen54, and they've built this pretty cool story-based showcase, I would call it. We're in the year 2054, and plants have taken over the world. And so we essentially go through and we try to find a way to get to the nuclear core to shut it down. So first, we need to get through a locked door. We can find the code inside this secret window, enter in the code, and it gives us a key card. 
and once we find the key card, it opens up the door to the waste disposal. So unfortunately, we're gonna have to go swimming in the waste, <laughs> which is lovely. And at the end of this swim, we find another key card. And once we get the key card, we can head through this final door to the hallway B, in which we head down another elevator to this final creepy zone, hallway A. And once we get to the core, we can activate the core, and then we have to quickly rush outside within 60 seconds. Now, unfortunately, I was playing this game in cinematic mode to, to get a good video so that like all the GUI wasn't in the way. Unfortunately, this means I couldn't see how long I had on the timer. And so I actually didn't make it out alive and I ended up dying. All right, and the third creative build is by Little Lion. And they have built something pretty cool. They've built a laboratory on Mars. We're basically one of the four researchers that are in this laboratory and the other three people have all gotten sick from some kind of illness, and we know that we can make the cure, so our goal is to make the cure. And so we have to do quite a lot of cool things. First, we have to head outside the laboratory through the airlock, make sure we depressurize everything correctly and put on our suits, and then once we're outside, we can collect a sample of Martian rock. We gotta bring that back inside into the laboratory. It's pretty difficult to do. I struggled quite a lot pushing this annoying push block through the door, but eventually I got it through. And uh, then we head inside the laboratory and we need to run a series of tests. So once we've got the block, we need to detect the elements inside the Martian rock and take a look at the disease sample in the microscope. After we know that the sample contains over 5% water, we put it into this Mac, we mix the samples together, and then finally we test them in the testing machine. And if we get a green light, we've successfully made the cure. And once you've made the cure, you can head back up to where all the bedrooms are, knock on each of the other crew's doors to give them the cure, and then head back into your bedroom, and you win the game. I think this one's really cool. It's a really cool idea to be on Mars. I just think that's like super creative. I don't know, it's a pretty crazy idea, this whole storyline to come up with it all. So really creative. Well done, little lion. And I really like the build as well. There's lots of button contraptions going on that make us be able to do all of these crazy things. So really awesome, well done. And last but not least, we have this build by FizzStew99. Now this one's pretty cool. We first head into the laboratory and we have this sequence telling us all about the story, but it's being told through the thoughts of the person that we're playing, which is pretty funny because they have a pretty funny sentences in there wondering why the lift is going so slow. Maybe it's because I'm actually a simulation and a, someone is controlling me, <laughs> which is pretty clever. Anyway, we head inside our laboratory, but we immediately feel like something isn't right. We head inside our room, there's no one here, and the room is empty. Now we're getting suspicious, where's all my stuff gone? You know, there's bottles on the floor. Maybe something really bad has happened. And so we get to this place with a bunch of rooms. Now these are pretty funny. First, I head inside the bathroom where you can notice that the toilet has a thermular no, a th wait, the toilet has a thermonuclear defense weapon. Luckily it's disabled, so I don't know what's up with that, but we also have a couple of other rooms. We have the soda room where they're just keeping a bunch of soda, I guess. <laughs> we have the meme room, which is full of memes. That's pretty cool. And then the room, which I think is the most creepy is this room of spare Mario's. I don't know, maybe I'm in a simulation or something, but there's a, <laughs> there's a bunch of, we're getting to the end of this laboratory. Now we head into the final corridor. It's super pitch black and it's really creepy. And then suddenly we get surprised by all of our coworkers who are holding our birthday party. This is a little surprise. And it says they built an entire decoy laboratory to jump scare us on our birthday. I really thought that was a creative storyline. I genuinely thought something had gone horribly wrong inside the laboratory. It turns out it was just our birthday. So really clever. Well done, Fizzstew. And there you go. Those were all the builds that we've chosen this month to be the nominees. Please head to my Twitter, links in the description, and then you can choose one for build quality and one for creativity. Um, thanks very much everyone for the submissions. It's really sad because we basically end up getting to like a eight way tie on each, like the creativity and build quality. So we end up having quite a lot and then we have to choose some and it's kind of sad because there are some really cool builds. So if you didn't win, don't feel disheartened. We definitely do look at all of the builds and they are all really, really cool. So I just love looking at them all anyway. So please make sure you send in more next month. Make sure that you guys stick around on the channel and subscribe because only like 50% of people are subscribed. So that's pretty sad. And stick around over the next few months. I have some pretty cool things planned. I have a new game hopefully coming soon and some other interesting things coming soon. So keep that in mind and I hope I see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.